YouTube, what's up? It's James here, coming at you. I bullshitted enough here. Like, I've been talking about getting on the YouTube and getting regular with the YouTube for so long now. Um, I actually just hit up my boy Remington James and talked to him a little bit about getting, well, getting more consistent on the YouTube. And I think it, I'm, there's no excuse not to. Coming clean with you guys right now. Haven't really worked out in the last almost two weeks. Um, some of you who follow me on social media know that I I cut myself pretty badly on my shin. I was doing some hurdle hops and I jumped over a hurdle, kind of bailed mid jump. And uh, as I bailed, I kind of spread eagle landed on the hurdle, snapped it in half and it cut me pretty deep. The gash is about shit. It's about like three inches long, two, three inches long, and it was kind of wide. Um, probably should have gotten stitches, definitely should have gotten stitches. Um, but the way my medical insurance is set up, that would have cost me a lot of fucking money. I put some butterfly bandages on it. Um, I have some, some good friends who are in the medical field um, that kind of gave me some advice on it. They've been taking care of it, watching it for me. That's been going on. so. I, when that happened, I wasn't really supposed to work out because it was an open wound and it was pretty deep and every time I would sweat, it would get like irritated. So, so I did that on like a Thursday. So I took a couple days off, worked out a little bit on like Saturday and then that kind of irritated it and I was like, shit. So I, I half-ass worked out like two other times, like a couple days after. Basically, the whole week I worked out one time um, two times I don't really count because I, they were bullshit workouts. And then I went to Tahoe for the weekend with my clients and Patricia and Rob and Chrissy and I didn't work out there because I was like, I need to let it heal out. And then this past week I worked out, I worked out two times this week, but it's been kind of eh, they weren't really like crazy workouts. Um, the cut's starting to heal pretty good and so I think it's kind of like on that final stretch before I'm good to go 100%. Meanwhile, eating's been trash. I haven't really been eating enough calories. I look like shit right now. Right around 242, I think it was 242 yesterday when I weighed myself. Look soft, I look watery, my abs are very watery, uh, borderline disappearing. My ass looks fat though, so that's, that's I mean, that's something. Um, I changed up my macros, I'm going higher protein, dropping the fats down and then carbs are gonna be pretty high still. I'm gonna keep with carbs around five to 600 a day. And my total calories will, will be around 4,000 to 3,800. I'm trying to lean up a little bit for the Olympia. I'm trying to get tan as well, because I look pale as fuck. I'm changing up my training. I take a little bit of time from the powerlifting, do a little bit more bodybuilding style, a bit more sports specific. Training. So today I'm gonna actually work out. This is gonna be like full on fucking workout. I'm taking some pre workout. I'm gonna fucking crush shit today. Um, I'm gonna do upper body lift inspired by my boy Joe DeFranco. And then I'm gonna do some core, which I need to do. I'm gonna get more involved in the YouTube starting fucking now. Hold me accountable. Shoot me some DMs. Tweet me. Fucking leave comments on my Instagram. And be like, James, where the fuck is a video? I'm gonna start getting back on track, not even necessarily cleaning it up. I'm just gonna get back on track. I'm hitting fucking macros. Diet's gonna get on point. Training's gonna change. Chain training's gonna get back on point. I still kinda of wanna do record breakers in November. That's 12 weeks from now. So um, I may end up changing. Who knows? We'll change. I may change. I may end up changing, getting back into the powerlifting after a couple weeks. Who knows? Um, but yeah, changing up the diet, getting more on track, getting the YouTube going, and I'm gonna fucking love life, all right? Side note, we have a fucking huge ass open house party. September 23rd, okay? That is like the week after the Olympia for those of you in the fitness industry, all right? Uh, for the, the rest of us, it's September 23rd. It's gonna be a huge ass open house party. It's gonna be fucking massive. We're gonna have live music, we're gonna have food trucks, we're gonna have fitness competitions, we're gonna have a fucking huge ass car show, 100 plus cars, um, and all the proceeds from the car show are going to 
go to a great cause. It's going to the Special Operations Care Fund, which benefits families of fallen Special Forces operators. It's a fucking amazing cause. Um, it's going to be awesome. So if you can make it, I would highly recommend you make your ass up to Oregon for September 23rd. It's a big ass open house party, first annual, all right? Um, and then on top of that, we're releasing all new, brand new fucking gear. It's so sick. I can't wait for you guys to see it. It's going to be amazing. Um, so that's also September 23rd. Big things fucking coming. Make sure you tune in because um, it's going to be awesome. If you can make it, I'd love to see all y'all there. That's enough talking though. I need to get this fucking gym. Let's go. There. Super duper smoky shit. Right there. Fuck. All kinds of smoke. Yeah, I'm coming back down, baby. This time in a Since we came I down, so soon the first time. Yeah. yeah. I thought I'd go trade the road, man. For yeah, a trade the road. So I gotta get some carbs in me. This is what I'm gonna do. Organic cinnamon applesauce. Each one of these is 18 grams of carbs, 15 grams of sugar, zero fat, some potassium, zero sodium. So legitimately, I'll probably eat all four of these right now. Just fresh out the fridge. It's gonna be so good. Gotta get some music on too. It's dead as fuck in here. What do you think, Bob? Bob says we need music. Let's go. Open house party. So I think I've mentioned this before, but this is the pre-workout I've been using. Devastate Crimson by Nutra, Inspired Nutra. Nutraceuticals. I have no idea how to say that word. But Devastate Crimson by Inspired Nutra. Um, and this is Pineapple Express flavored. Notice how I had to get the, the flex in there. Anyway, so mix this up. I just had the four uh, cinnamon apple sauces. So that's like 80 grams of carbs. A shit ton of sugar. I'm about to get fucking wired. Go crush this workout. I just think you love every time you come around, yeah. You ease my mind, you make everything so fine. Worry about those comments. I'm waking up, yeah. I'm waking up, yeah. I get those goosebumps every time. I need the hype. Throw that to the side, yeah. I get those goosebumps every time, yeah. When you're not around, when you throw that to the side, yeah.
say, you can tell when it's been a while. My strength is not necessarily gone. I'm not necessarily weaker, but my endurance is just shit. Finishing up my Gatorade. This was my pre or intro workout. Got a good amount of carbs, sodium, potassium. So it helps with performance. Um, it helps with sweating and replacing the electrolytes. Um, didn't really help that much though today because like I said, I was dying. The, those last like push-ups and, and hollow body rocks, that was just it was brutal. I kicked my ass. So need to do more of that. So also going to drink this. So this is some protein. Protein gets a bad rap nowadays. Everyone's talking about real food, real food, real food. You need to eat real food. 100% agree. You need to eat real food. What a protein supplement does though, is it allows you to, if you get a good protein supplement, one that's not bullshit, one that's not spiked with aminos, one that's not filled with a ton of shit and fillers, if you get like a legit iso whey or iso protein, um, it helps when you don't get enough protein in. Like I said, I'm trying to do more protein. I'm increasing my protein macros and, uh, Lately, my appetite hasn't been crazy good, so the protein supplement is an easy way for me to get more protein without forcing myself to eat. When you force yourself to eat, you overload your system, okay? You need to eat more, more free. That's why, that's why people say eat smaller meals more frequently, because it doesn't overload your system to the point where you feel full and bloated and you, you don't want to eat anymore. You can eat your next meal sooner, without feeling like shit and feeling like you're stuffing yourself. Right now, I kind of feel like I was, like last night, I was low on protein, so I had some chicken like super late at night. And I had it like too close to my other meal because I just wanted to go to bed, but I wasn't like hungry and I knew I wasn't gonna be hungry like in an hour, so there's no point of staying up and, and forcing it down then. So I just ate it and I felt kind of bloated, I felt kind of shitty and so, um, Right now, I, I need to build my my, met, my metabolism, build my my food intake back up. So I'm gonna use a protein supplement in the meantime to help kind of build that up. Anyway, going to the store right now, gotta get some first aid shit from Wally, Wally World, Walmart, because it's close to my house. I don't particularly like Walmart, um, but I will go there because it's close to my house. Anyway, gotta get some first aid supplements, or gotta get some first aid gear for my cut. I need more wraps and gauze and band-aids because I need to keep it wrapped and keep band-aided up until it I don't know, fully heals, all right? Um, so I'm gonna head there. I might get some fruit too for post-workout. We'll see. Anyway, let's go.